Hey, welcome to my chat. This is a custom by Ever Moment, and I swear by that company. As far as I'm concerned, they're equal to Diamond Art Club. They suppressed Diamond Art Club because they'll do custom. So Diamond Art Club, hint, hint. Oh, be sure to, I will post it in the link. On the first, I got a $100 Diamond Art Club certificate up for a price, so you really want to get in it. Anyways, this is the one I'm doing. And I want to talk. Bullying is just not acceptable. And there's been a lot of talk in the diamond world. First, let me check this color. Look at the light on. My eyes are bad, so I have to use a magnifying glass, so. Equal. And what color is that? Equal. Seven, seven, nine. Um, it says my other containers come in. I'm going to do a video comparing storage units, and nobody better steal my idea on my big mail. But, um, oh, if you hear a noise in the background, I live in a house, I'm in the kitchen area, all the rooms are rented, so you might hear them in the background. That's life. We've, anyways, what I was saying, we've heard a lot, a lot about people basically being bullied. And as far as I understand, most people are cowards. It's real easy to sit behind your little computer, your little phone, your, your tablet, and put this out. Because hey, nobody knows where you live, right? Now, no one, oh, first of all, let me welcome my new subscribers. Believe me, I appreciate and love y'all. But like you're saying, I have not seen any of my subscribers bullying anybody. Okay? Hasn't happened. I don't have those kind of people. Okay. I'm doing this without a black pack and it's hard and stuff, but the thing is sometimes a person may not mean to be and they may say something because it's real easy to put something in, post something and it can be interpreted wrong. When I well, I was still fairly new, but before I got this camera, I did it. Now, a person, and I thanked her. She put in there and let me know what the problem was. Now, I could have took that wrong, totally wrong. I could have got mad at there. I took it, interpreted it in the way she meant. Because she did mean you mean I got the is that it this is very hard to work on without I think that's what I got all of that there's only one. Um, mean to. So you could have to consider that. You might want to ask them to clarify. 
But it's been going on in chats. Uh, what have you. And the thing is, we can all sit there and scream and cry and say how wrong it is. Yeah. We can. I mean, a person, and I'm not going to mention names, but you all know, gets a horrible, horrible message, and I'm not going to even repeat the message. To the point she's afraid to come into a chat room. Now, this person, I don't think she's subscribed to my channel, but it, that's mute. You don't mention somebody in the hospital who's literally fought for their life. Piss me off. I seen diamond art addiction get bullied, which I thought was being bullied. Yeah, Eske could tell you I was pissed. So how do we stop it? Well, you know, we're not going to totally stop it. It's unrealistic. But maybe we could stop it in the diamond world. Because I'm going to tell you the story. I, I follow these people. They would play jokes on each other. And that was fine, because they were all really participants. They decided to pull one on their subscribers. And they were acting like they were breaking up, they were doing this, all this crazy stunt, trade boyfriends, girlfriends back and forth. You know, towards the end, people got it. It got so bad, finally, that one of them made a video confessing that Nobody had broken up. It was to try to get more subscribers, more viewing time. It was a joke. They were playing a joke on their subscribers. They lost half, half the subscribers. And I know it's a lot of big YouTubers are really guilty of this. I see them, and then I'm not necessarily talking about in the diamond painting world, okay? I'm just saying general, because I follow diamond painting, I file, I file people's lives, you know. Um, I follow this one woman who tragically lost her child, died just prior to birth. And how painful it was for her. And when she got pregnant the second time, her doctor's visits, and they decided they didn't want to risk it, so they were testing the baby's lungs, decided to take it a little bit early, because they don't know why that baby died within three weeks of being born. They didn't want to risk it. And I have seen horrible, horrible uh, remarks, you know, people criticizing her for even putting it on, on there. Well, you know what? Maybe it's therapy for her. But I've seen it. It is totally wrong. It is unacceptable. So, you know, if you see a person and it's obvious, not something that this could be interpreted wrong, like maybe moderators if they see a comment in the chat room, should first warn the person. If they do it again, lock them. But you gotta do more than block them. It needs to be reported. Believe it or not, YouTube doesn't tolerate it. They can lose their station, they can lose their account. And it just needs to be done. Report them. And let's get these people out. And as far as the large YouTubers, I'm sorry. I don't care. You know this crap they say that when they're ratting and raving and they don't care if they lose subscribers, da 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 da. They're lying. They are a total lie. Before they do care. And if they say they don't, they're lying. They just totally lie. If you see a tuber, a creator, whatever you want to call it, 
when they call somebody out for something that they should have took private, that's bully. It is. It's done to humiliate the person. And what you do with that is you simply unsubscribe. They get enough people unsubscribing, guess what? They're going to stop. Because they do care regardless of what they say. Oh, too much. There we go. Uh, if you see somebody in chat, press the report button. Report it to YouTube. If you see it on a post or video, report it. No more of this crying on YouTube, crying on chat rooms about it. It's time, you gotta take action. Talking about it, ranting about it, ain't gonna stop nothing. It just is not. The only way of stopping it is to report it. Now I'm not saying when it's reported if YouTube does away with their channel, does away. Let's face it, they can make another account under a different name, what have you. Um, trolling. You know, when they come in, they want a reaction. They totally want a reaction. When they put a statement, they don't actually leave right away. They wouldn't get the thrill. They wait to see what action they get. Did I get the wrong color? Uh oh. And the best thing to is to ignore them. Because that's actually going to piss them off. Because they're good. They're, they're after the reaction. If you don't get it, they go away. They're not going to come back. But if they know that they get a reaction that, from you, they will come back over and over again. The thing to do is when they come in there, is simply report them. Because until you take action, ain't nothing gonna happen. So, I don't know, I, to me, these people are cowards, but worse than the people who do it is the people who don't do something about it. And I see people gang up. A per person will post something, it may offend one person, and then everybody goes to offend that person, and they zoom. I was on a bird group, to give you an example, and a girl posted, she just got a bird. Now this girl never, she wasn't taking care of her bird's property. I get, I get it. But it wasn't out of neglect. It wasn't out of meanness, it was out of lack of knowledge. 
What they should have done is inform her that her parrot cannot survive on sun seeds all the time. It's not healthy for them, too fatty. They ganged up on her. When I posted it, I said, hey, instead of ganging up on this girl for the condition her bird is in and her lack of care, I said, wouldn't it be better is to educate her? That's why she came up, joined the bird group. That's why she posted that question, because she was wanting to know, and you all attacked her like a, a bunch of vultures. So instead of being mean to her, maybe we should educate her. Well, let me tell you, they all became sheep. They proceeded to try to attack me. And that doesn't really go fly too well with me. It didn't matter. The girl actually messaged me and thanked me for defending her. And she asked me the question, and I spent hours talking to her, telling her what kind of food parrots need, how they need vegetables, fruit, and even meat, that their cages need to be cleaned at least once a week, fresh water every day, to stay away from avocado. And you know, I gave her the basic knowledge to properly take care of her bird. I explained the importance of taking your parrot to avian certified vet at least once a year. I explained all that to her. That's what they could have did and chose not to. Why? Because they were all little puppets. Uh, I see them defend this one girl. She was really, really liked in the bird club. Well, it turns out, authorities invade her place. She had had parrots die from lack of care. It was really, really bad. They all turned on her like right on rice. And rightfully so, she ignored uh, members offered to go help. We need four there, so you know, it takes. We've got to stop being followers. We've got to take action, and that's all I got to say on it. So happy dining painting. Here we go. Anyways, uh, happy diamond painting, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.